Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome to Panarium. I will be very upfront in saying I have no clue what this game is. I could not think of a game to record. So I asked my wife, I said, what game do I record? And she said, well, what games do you have? We took a quick look at my Steam library, she liked the name, and here we are. So, I don't know what to expect. I didn't look up anything at the request of my wife. Um, so I have no idea what to expect. I got this, I had to do some digging to see exactly how I came across this title. Uh, it was from Humble Bundle. Uh, 2017 or 16? A number of years ago, back when Humble Bundle was a thing. Anyway, not important. What is important is... Uh, Follow Tale to Wasteland should be back soon. Devil May Cry should be back soon. Working on getting back to where I was and working on getting uh, Tale to Wastelands. Working with all the mods. Alright, that's enough of an intro. I will not sit here and talk your guys' ear off. Let's go ahead and play. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Campaign, arcade, okay. Campaign? Short, ten levels, let's go. Don't even know what I'm expecting. Or the controls, I know nothing. I like the style. I like the art. Once there was a kid who was loved only by his father. Well, that's sad. His name was Willie. Willie worked the land of his father's farm all day long. The work was tough and boring. Poor Willie longed for adventure. One day, while Willie was working the edge of the farm, a circus caravan rode by. As if it was destiny, a tall, mysterious figure appeared and promised Willie extraordinary adventure. Willie was mesmerized by the spectacle. He felt an uncontrollable urge to take part in it. The tall figure directed him towards an empty wagon. Willie jumped on board, expecting to see the show of his life. He would only be gone for a day. The caravan rode for hours, and when it finally stopped, Willie was thrown onto the circus floor. The tall figure stood over him and welcomed him to Panarium, the sadistic circus extravaganza. What am I getting myself into? You know what? I'm down for it. Here we are with Panarium. Don't know what to expect. Welcome, Willie. I thought I was going to say something. Welcome to the sadistic circus extravaganza. That is Panarium. Oh, I don't have a mouse. Oh, it's, okay. Under my guidance, you will take your shot at becoming the top con or a top contestant. All you have to do is survive. How hard can it be? Let's start with the basics. All you can do is run left or right and jump. Panarium's enchanted atmosphere allows you to double jump in thin air. The magical arena wraps around. Exit on one side and enter on the opposing side. Let's start simple. Get used to your abilities and smash five barrels. Okay. Do I just jump? I do. Okay. That, yep, makes perfect sense so far. I guess I can just run into them. Yes. Alright. I did it. Be level one. We're good. I have a mouse back. Alright, next challenge. Alright, farmer boy. Surviving is pretty easy when nothing is shooting at you. I would say that is true. Staying alive might mean the world to you, but it means nothing to the audience. Oh, well that's unfortunate now, isn't it? They want you to entertain. That means they want you to dance or die. Let's take this training to the next level. Bring in the traps. <laughs> okay, sure. Every five barrels you smash, I will activate a new trap. Show me you can smash ten barrels and survive. Dance, farmer boy, dance. Alright, I'm down. Oh, that's not unpleasant, is it? Yeah, I got this. Okay, so I had assumed I was going to die a lot because there was an achievement for dying a lot. However, that was the extent of what I figured out. Also, this might be a lot easier with a controller. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, we got this. 8 out of 10. Oh, it's over here. Yes, I'm getting you. No problem at all. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Easy. Challenge complete. So, look who's still alive. Hmm. Some fireworks and a big rock are hardly a challenge. I forgot to activate the lower rail. Let's see how you fare against two traps. 
I added some more traps to the mix. Survive and smash 15 barrels. Go, boy, and don't forget to keep it together. Get it? Together? Ha! Huh. I'm such a funny guy. Oh. I mean... It's okay. I'd say you are. That was not expected. Uh, yeah, that sounds... Oh, it's over here. That sounds good. Uh, sure. Look at that. Oh, it's like I'm a professional. Uh, what are you shooting? Okay, icicle-looking things. No big deal. Where... Oh, the barrel's flying. That's no big deal. Hmm. Oh, it's a bird that has it. It's not that the thing's... Fly. Okay. I think I can also go down to the bottom. Nope, definitely can't get down to the bottom. Alrighty, well, now I know. You know, realistically speaking, that that's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. But, you know, I, I just had to make sure. You, you never know these days. Oh, that is... That's water. That is a new trap. Hmm. Oh. Isn't that unpleasant? Well, I guess it makes it a little easier to get around. Kind of the opposite of a trap, I think. Alright, give me something new. There's the birdcage. I gotcha. So I just had to... Nope. Not hit that. Okay, I'm seeing some of the challenge. You know, you get a little cocky and, and things go a little bad. Uh-oh. It, it's fine. It's... I'm fine. <laughs> We're all good. Alright. I am not going to trust going off the edges. I nailed it once and I got confident. You can't do things like that. No, mine. Alright. This is turning into combat, isn't it? I should have beaten this a while ago. I'm not going to say I'm a professional or anything, but come on now. Get some credit, right? Alright, well, here comes the relatively easy swimming portion. It's at least easier than, you know, birds and icicles, I guess. Oh. Cool. Speaking of birds and icicles, here we are. Hey. Sir and or I was staring at the bird. That that was bad. Can't listen, if you get caught staring at the bird, it's all over. Alright, well I'm just getting too cocky at this point. Too cocky and too silly. We got this. I can't let this game get the better of me. We all know that once you do that, that's when everything goes down the hole. Also, can I drown? I can presumably drown, but I don't think I... Don't think I want to figure that one out. Wow, is this aggravating anybody? I should probably say the disclaimer. If you're new to my channel and you're expecting easy game... Or not easy. Uh... Gameplay whereby the player doesn't suck. You are unfortunately in the wrong, uh, game. Oh, come on, bird. Bird, I- you're taunting me. You want me to jump into that. But I don't want to jump into that. I just- patience is the key. So when I failed at Cuphead, which I did many times, my biggest problem is I was just not patient enough. I am aware that patience is key. That part is easy enough. Cool, that was some really weirdly good luck. I'll take it. Don't want to drown, I still don't know if it's a possibility, but not here to find out. Okay, challenge completed. We're good. Lovely stuff, really. You handled yourself better than I thought. I wouldn't say that. I would say I did worse than I thought. Are you by any chance a little bit claustrophobic, really? Hmm, I really was a kid, but not so much now. See how creative you are when I limit your options. Introducing the blocker, this trap will prevent you from wrapping around the edges. Fine by me, I wasn't even using it. I installed some additional contraptions. How about you smash 20 barrels? Yep, ready, go. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this seems not tricky. Okay, mm we're gonna pretend that one didn't happen. And we're gonna just try that one again. Yep. That seems easy. Totally easy. Boink. And... Okay, so they, they explode after a couple of seconds anyway. So that's no big deal. Sure. Now there's saw blades. That's potentially a problem. But... It's nothing that we can't handle. Okay, well that, that might be something we can't handle. Every five there's something new. So 14 and then... 
15 is this one, which gives us this new trap. Oh, a dragon. I think you were to the corner of my eye. I'm trying to focus on these barrels and, well, there might be lions. Okay, well, problem solved. Not bad, not bad at all. Don't get cocky, though. I need you to run some errands for me. I ran out of my favorite body liar. I mean, dark magic potion. Yes, obviously, dark magic potion. I need you to make me some. Catch the ingredients before they break and bring them to the corresponding cauldron. The ingredients are limited, so don't break too many of them. Get to it, farmer boy. Three of each? Sure. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, they're falling out of the sky. Nailed it. Do they go to the automatic? No, they don't. I gotta bring them there. That's... Yeah, that makes sense. Can I carry... I can't carry more than one. Well, that's... That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Yeah, about that. Oh. I mean... I'm... I'm getting the challenge. Also, what kind of... You know what? I don't think I want to know. I was gonna ask what kind of lotion does he have, but... I think that, at the end of the day, it's better if we just don't, you know, if we don't really know. Oh, I already have that, I don't need that, but that's fine. Um, drop you off. Alright, things are getting a little tricky now. Things are getting a little tricky, but it's nothing we can't do. Well, so I missed too many of them. That's a bit of a problem. I don't know what I was just doing there. Let's not try to deke out the thing shooting icicles at me. Alright, and just get... Try to get all of them, be, don't, you know, try to not let any of them break. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, by all means. But, we can kind of make it work? Uh, I think so, anyway. I want you to go here, and then I gotta get... You know, I have an excuse. I swear, sometimes that double jump doesn't work. I don't know the cause of it, but if that excuse isn't good enough, well, I am sorry. <laughs> I need something because I should be doing a lot better. Um, it's fine. Alright, let's grab you. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure my eyes are failing me. If you're a little new, give me that, please. I am a little red-green colorblind, and these colors are really confusing me because I have no idea what kind of colors I'm looking at. Alright, also, mm, let's not kill me right away. Uh, okay, here is my other question. I can see, based on the left side of the screen, that there is only so many uh, of each vial. And I'm guessing I can't let any break? Although, if I no longer need blue or whatever brown slash whatever color this is like do i just have to make sure that none of them break or what's the deal there because i'm not overly damn it i'm not overly sure what i'm doing or how many I, I'm, I'm i'm guessing it's just don't let all of them break or one i i'm not too sure but that's fine there's probably a logistic meaning to this somewhere, and I just don't know what it is. Wow, I should not have survived that. I believe I cheated death. That's okay. Hmm. Okay, drop you off. I lost one of the brown ones. It's probably not brown, but I can't tell colors, and I only say it's probably not brown because that logistically doesn't make sense. Um, but maybe it is brown. I, I mean, it definitely looks brown to me. But if it's not, uh, then whoops. Uh, I should also mention I was contemplating what color that was for a while, but that's fine. What do we have over here? Uh, possibly blue, and I assume that I, I'm assuming it's red based on red, green, and blue. But I've been wrong before, and uh, I'm gonna be wrong again. So that's fine. Man, I do love the music. Can we can we take a hot minute here to appreciate the music? Oh, that's that definitely got me. Well, I've been close to beating this at least once, so that's fine. I should also mention I'm having a genuinely good time playing this. I don't know why I didn't play this before. I think that for the longest time I was just not obsessed with, but I was just playing a lot more AAA titles than anything else. So 
that's probably my excuse as to why I wasn't really playing this. I don't know, but I'm glad I'm playing it now. I really should ask my wife for some more suggestions. That, I swear you can hear my space burn, and I didn't double jump there. And I, I think it's because I'm jumping before hitting the ground. And it counts as a double jump, because it's before I hit the ground. I think is the best thing I can come up with. Okay, well, drop you in there. Cool. I'm slowly getting the rhythm down. This is the kind of game I think where if I stopped playing it for a while, I would lose all rhythm. And every other life, I seem to lose my rhythm anyway, so I feel it's justified. I also think I really want to play more pixel art games, uh, because the artwork in this game is beautiful. Oh, you're not that. You're that one. As are you. Um, the art is really nice, and I was mentioning the music's also good, but so is the art, and I kind of dig it. Oh, please. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Uh-oh. Let's try to not, you know, let all of them break, because I would prefer to not let all of them break. That seems, um, like a good plan, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't had my other thing proven yet. Um, you go here, you go here, fantastic. Boop. Yeah. You're that one. You sure are. And you're that one. And then you go over here. Uh, oh, I don't like this at all. This is a little unpleasant. You're also not what I need. Well, I'm about to have my theory tested, aren't I? Perfect. Okay. Little on the stressful side, but I'm digging it. I was going to finish my thought. I like this style of art, and I like the music, and I like the voice acting. and the game sound great, and I think I also want to play Shovel Knight at some point on my channel, because I played a little bit of Shovel Knight, but not really enough, and it was only ever on the Wii U. So anyway, Shovel Knight's possibly a game that I'm going to play. But let's not worry about that for now. Let's move on to the next challenge. I have to admit, I really thought he'd be dead by now. Well, I am internally, if that makes you feel any better. Perhaps you have what it takes to become a contestant. Let's see how you handle life in the spotlight. Stand in the spotlight until the timer is full. Do this three times to win. I have invited some more spectators to watch you practice, though they are really just here to watch you die. What's that? You want to prove them wrong? Now that's the spirit. Go for it, kid. Okay. Oh, man. This is the song of my people. Oh, Lord. I need to get up, uh, up above. Thought you were gonna kill me that time. Honestly did. Honestly did. Um, okay, sure. Let's go up top and then hang out in the spotlight because that seems like a plan. Okay, I gotta do that three more times. That seems that seems feasible and doable. And I realize oh, this is all sticky. God damn it, who let their kid at the circus who's all sticky. You know what? In saying that, I'm not certain I really want to know. Just please keep your sticky kids away from the cer- Like, not necessary. Alright. Well, I think... Oh, now you're faking me out. That's not very nice. Oh, also, that's shooting- That's shooting them unpleasantly. Hmm, that is unpleasant. Okay. Well, I think that this time around... Uh, I'm going to try to stay up top a little bit more. I was down, which was fine. Uh, the only issue was that, you know, it protects you from a lot of the explosives. However, oops, uh, it tends to take a lot longer. I didn't mean to hit that button, sorry. Let's get back to the action. It tends to take a little bit longer going below, so I think I, I'm a little conflicted. I don't really know which one I want more. Do I want to die less, or do I want to get things over quicker? Hmm. See, it's a tough call. I am a fan of not dying, uh, but sometimes you just you just don't have control over these things, you know? Like, if you're, you know, death shows up at your door and says it's your time, then I... I Jesus. I think it's your time at that point, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is a little unpleasant. Hey, come back. I, I don't think I'm really enjoying time in the spotlight at the moment. Hmm, all that sticky stuff isn't helping. Okay, 
Last but not least, we have the icicles and the guns. I didn't realize... Well, I, I clearly realized that those guns... Mm, unpleasant. Okay, no big deal. Let me just go back at it. Now, there have been games on my channel that I have sucked at uh, a lot. N none quite like this. This is a bit of a new one, I think, in terms of how exactly I'm sucking, but... Mm, I think... I think this is just a fascinating... Hey, excuse me, Light, please come back. And, like, stay back. Oh, no, Light? Light, we've talked about this. Cool. Fantastic. Oh. Are you the gun? No, you're the goopy goop. Right. So the goopy goop is a problem. The, the, the saw blades on the bottom, not a huge deal. I mean, I've kind of run into them a little bit, but they're not as big of a deal. And I mean, the goopy goop's not bad either. Although the saw blades haven't been up top yet. Well, either way, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, this, however, seems to be the biggest problem because I just kind of forget how to dodge guns for some reason. Although, the Explodey Boys are also a bit, of a bit of a problem, aren't they? Yeah, that's no big deal. Oh, I think I meant to mention something earlier, and for some reason I just completely glossed over it. If you are new to my channel, and you want a gameplay that doesn't suck, you might be in the wrong place, and I apologize. But, I can promise you we're gonna try our best, and then go from there. Because that's all you can really do. Nope, not even bothering. Let's just finish this up. I should... nope. I should be able... there we go. Okay. Goopy Goop. I don't think the Goopy Goop kills me right away, so I think that that's probably fine. Now, what will kill me right away is those saw blades. Uh, they're definitely a problem. And... yeah. Well, that, see, that definitely kills me. Um, but aside from that... Oh, you know what might be a good idea? Nah, I don't know. I was gonna suggest mm, not doing that. Definitely. Oh god, not definitely not doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so no big deal there. No big deal at all. I just have to kind of fake it and then make it explode. But I can't tell if just making it explode on its own is a solid choice or not. Hmm. See, I think if I let it explode too early, then we run the risk of them shooting off more of them. But I'm going to be really honest, I'm not focused on how long things are active for. I just want things to be over quick. You know, please come back late. Hmm. Yeah, so go away. Cool. All right.